Hello everyone! Today we are going to observe the main processes of our school, Sky Driving School. And um, basically it's the information lesson and uh, all the basics that you should know. Um, I will explain it today in this video. So I hope you will enjoy it and of course if you will have any questions in future you can always email me or call me. You can see the number here and um, my email address as well. So. Um, also, you can use WhatsApp, for example. So, first of all, you need to start the theory course. If you want to start the courses and just start the registration, you can go to the website. Uh, you will see the link below this video after. So, I will show you how it works. So, here is the link we followed on the previous slide. And now I will explain you how to uh, register for the courses you need, basically. Of course, you have to choose the proper language for yourself here. So it's English, obviously. And um, you can see groups here as well. Please mention, uh, mention that as well. And um, I put English, so group language. It's the very first registration for you. So if you want to start courses in our school, you have to go to this uh, link. Then I choose the region. We have basically different regions here. Uh, Light say it's for the other additional courses. It's not for the beginners in that moment. So you can cho choose here city center, Lasnamab or Mustamab. The main office, the main branch that we have is in Mustamab actually. So uh, all classroom meetings we make here. Uh, other are mostly for the online. And um, we choose Mustamab, the main office. Then we can choose the category. Basically, we have all the categories here. Also, you can see the final stage here. It's for those who already have a license. But after you get your license, you have to pass the final stage course as well. We'll talk later about that as well. And we choose B. It's the most common one. Usually people want to start driving with the casual cars. And here we also can choose the type of the course. It can be online or it can be in class. So we have uh, different types of uh, online course. For example, here you can see e-course, online registration. And uh, it means that your course will be totally online. So you will not be um, dependent on some uh, schedule of our school, for example. Of course, if you have a classroom meeting, uh, in that case, it means you have to visit the office in the current time and the, uh, and the current date and it all will be planned of course in the e-course you are totally independent you don't have to follow any um, schedules in that case so uh, i will explain later in this video how uh, what is the difference between all of them um, now is my, my point is to show you how to pass this registration correctly also please uh, notice that um, you can make a transfer from another school if, for example, if you are studying in the current uh, driving school at the moment and you don't like it in some reason or you don't want to finish it in some reason, you can transfer to our school. You can see also that every uh, registration form has um, additional information. So you can read everything about the course here as well. So we can see the link for the prices, some examples, my contacts as well. So everything is here. If you need to transfer, you also can see additional information here. And what exactly we need to collect if you want to uh, make a transfer. For every course is the same. So we all we have all the information you need here. Of course, you I should mention that prices can be different all the time. So at the moment now when I'm recording this video, uh, we can see these prices, but maybe in future it will be different. Maybe less, maybe more. So uh, please also consider this as well. And the same logic works for the courses. For example, if you need to register for the um, slippery driving course or for the night driving course, it's the mandatory courses that you should pass um, um, after, not after, before you finish your school actually. And uh, all registration you can see here. So dates will be always updated here. And um, the same, you can see more information here as well. And basically it's very simple. Anyway, if you have 
questions about that in future, of course, you can contact me, then I will direct you to these links and it will be easier for you. So now we can continue. And we will continue with the theory course. Uh, first of all, you need to start with the theory course, obviously. Um, basically, we have to do everything step by step, so it will be easier for you as well and um, easier for us to manage you as a student in our school. Uh, we have, as I already mentioned before, we have two different types uh, of the theory course. One is the e-course, uh, which is online, and another one is the physical class. Basically, if you choose the e-course system, you can study it at home online and you don't have any time limitations. As I told you before, you are totally independent. You don't have to follow any school schedule or classroom meeting schedule. It's possible to finish it even within, uh, within the two weeks, but of course it means that you have to study a lot. Um, I mean, like every day. But I knew some people that uh, finished uh, the theory course very fastly, especially when they took this e-course system. Uh, but yeah, you have to consider that uh, in that case, you have to work really hard. Physical classes. Uh, if you choose the theory lessons in the classroom, then it takes uh, at least seven weeks to finish it. We have a meeting once per week, usually it's at uh, six o'clock. Of course, uh, this information uh, with the dates and times will be updated on the website, on the registration link that I already showed you. And usually one meeting uh, takes two hours, sometimes maybe less, sometimes uh, maybe more. So it, uh, it depends on the group how many people we have in the class, how many people we have online. So it depends on it. So I will show you the office location. So now you can see the address and the location of our office. So it's uh, the main office, the main branch. It's in Mustamem. Uh, you can see it's Ehitaya Tate 108. Uh, if you know, it's near to the Kadaka server nearby so here we are here we have uh, our office on the second floor and um, the number of the room is 25 so if you need to visit the office uh, you can always do that very easily so now we can continue with the next slide uh, basically now we have made a new uh, feature in our school you can join this physical classes also in live stream so it means that you don't have to visit the office directly. Um, basically, it means that if you signed up for these physical classes and you still are not available uh, to come, for example, to the class meeting, sometimes it's uh, complicated because of work or other things you, you need to do. And um, that's why we basically created this thing. It's like uh, Zoom meetings or Google meetings. Uh, but we make them in uh, our YouTube channel. So we can join this live stream and basically you can watch the same, uh, the same course directly on your computer or on your smartphone. And um, you can follow all the lessons like this. So you actually don't have to visit the classes. And um, the main, the main uh, benefit in that case that if you still miss the lesson, yeah, physical or live stream, doesn't matter, we will send you the recording of this video, of this lesson. Every time, of ev uh, every lesson is recorded and we can, say, uh, we can send to you all the recordings of these lessons. Actually, we make this, um, we basically make an automatic email to all the students. So it doesn't matter if they miss that or not. Anytime you can watch it, and uh, for example, if you have any questions or doubts about the previous lesson, you can always re-watch it again before the next lesson. So the main feature, yeah, that we have, it's a uh, live stream and always you have uh, the videos recorded from the class. And um, I think it's a very comfortable thing in that case. So that's why we also have one more additional registration form there for a live stream course. So one was the e-course, the second one was uh, classroom meeting, and the third one is live stream course. So you can choose between them three. So you have an option in that case. And I will show you an example right now. For example, 
And now you can see lesson number one about the road signs. So I'm leaning this course in that case, I mean the TV courses. And um, it looks like this. Basically, uh, we check all the slides, information, you can see chat is uh, working here as well. So we communicate all the time. And uh, let me show you some, like here, yeah, we have some conversation here always about all the things and about the science so people can communicate between each other and of course with me. In that case also, you don't have direct um, connection with me, but still it's um, possible if you still have some questions after the lesson, it's still possible to uh, text me. Yeah, for example, you can email me or WhatsApp me or you can call me if you still have any questions. And also sometimes we make a meeting in the classroom as well. Of course, we can plan this meeting, but um, basically we have it and it will be very comfortable for you to basically to solve your problems and solve your questions and we can observe them all in that case if you still have it. And um, we can go back to the slides then. Additionally, I'm uh, really recommending you to uh, have some additional study materials. Of course, we have um, theory lessons, so I explain you all the rules, all the things, but um, it's hard to remember all the things in your head, like from one lesson. That's why it's better to practice these things. And we recommend uh, Liklus Lab in that case. So this is the program where you can basically practice tests. Um, when you finish the theory course in our school, uh, you will also pass the um, theory exam in our school. And then after that, you have to pass the theory test in the, uh, in the state department, in the road administration. So they basically, um, most of the questions from this program, they are very similar with this uh, road administration office questions. So that's why it's very um, useful program in that case. I will show you how it works. So here is the website. You can see the website name here, uh, Likluslab EE, and um, I will show you how to log in in this program. I will log out for the, for at the moment. So uh, you can connect this account, Likluslab account, to your Facebook, of course, or you can create your own. Uh, I will do it with the Facebook. So we have to choose in English here as well. And we have the active services. So the only service we have here is study in English. We have table of contents here. So basically you can observe all the same things that we discussed uh, at the lessons, at the theory lessons. And all the same things you can observe here as well. For example, roads, yeah. All the explanations here and after every lessons after every lesson here you will pass a theory test as well so very comfortable system for those basically who um, have a theory lessons only with the um, with the school with me I mean you can practice only tests basically because we observed all the all these topics with you at the lessons so it's not necessary to observe them here again. Maybe if you want, of course, you can do that. But you also can practice only tests. So let's check how the tests work. So solve test questions in a row by topic, question smart order, so different options we have here. Uh, wrong answers, so basically this program remembers all your wrong answers and you can revise them again and again. Yeah, so in that case, in this mode, this program will not uh, give you uh, the fresh or the questions that you already answered correctly many times. So in this mode, you can try this as well. Let, for example, by topic, basic basics of the traffic rules. And here you have a question, for example, 18 questions on this topic. You can answer and the answer should be only one. Not many answers, only one. The same like in the State Department, for example. 
now I want to uh, answer for this question here. I can immediately check. So the answer is not correct. You can see it's uh, striped with the red line. And you can see the comment why it's not right. And it will be explained here. And all the tests like this you can make. So it will be easy, very easy for you to remember the questions and to, remem uh, to remember the theory basics. So in the end of the theory course, uh, you also should pass a theory exam, school theory exam. And I will generate this exam in this program as well. So you don't have to come to the office to make it. Everything is online, basically. Um, no paperwork in that case. And uh, in my account, we cannot see this uh, possibility for the exam, unfortunately. But um, in your program, in your account, you will see um, school, school exam. And you will see it's generated or not. And uh, if it's generated, it means you can pass it. Of course, I make this access for you, basically. So if you are ready to pass it, you can always ask me to do that. Also, very comfortable, uh, very comfortable thing here that you can uh, try different mock tests. For, for example, MNT means uh, road administration. So you can try mock exam in like in road administration, it works. And the same mock exam in driving school. So you can try them also. So I guess this one is more or less clear for you and uh, we can continue with another slides in that case. Also I wanted to add one more thing that um, this, uh, this is not mandatory program to use. I mean if you take the e-course then this uh, program, this Liquid Law program is included of course. But um, if you just study the theory, I mean uh, the live streams or classroom meetings, uh, you can choose another additional study materials. It's not uh, basically you can choose uh, choose any of them, but basically we highly recommend to use this system. Here you can see the map of uh, and the uh, branches that we have in uh, in Tallinn. So last MM, also we have in uh, Kesklin, so it's city center, and Mustama. So here on the map you can see that. The Mustama branch have, uh, has two options, like classroom meetings and e-course. The other ones only e-course or live streams, for example. So usually when we pass uh, mostly the main topics for the theory lessons, uh, students ask me. Uh, students usually ask me when uh, can they start the driving lessons. So first of all, you need to make an appointment with your family doctor to form the health certificate for the B category car driving. So without this uh, health certificate, you cannot start driving. You can apply for the theory courses. It's, it's not a problem. So usually students ask me like, is it possible to start theory lessons without this health certificate? Of course it's possible. This health certificate works only for the driving. So that's the main thing. Based on this health certificate, we should form for you the driving certificate which one you should use on your practical lessons. So basically, when you start your driving, you will receive a driving card. Yeah, your student driving card. Uh, sometimes, actually most of the times, we give your driving card directly to the teacher. So you don't have to uh, come to the office separately to pick it up. So in that case, it's more comfortable. But of course, if you want to come to the office to pick it up, it's also not a problem. Uh, when it's more comfortable to start these driving lessons, my recommendation is that you need to pass at least some uh, theory lessons uh, first, especially if, you're, if you are a total beginner in that case. So if it's classroom meeting, it's three, four lessons. Yeah, when you pass three, four lessons, after that you can start practical lessons. If it's uh, the same, the same with the live streams. So three, four lessons, and then you can require for the practical teacher. Uh, with the e-course, it works a little bit different. Uh, basically, in the e-course, we have around 20 topics or 27 topics. They are uh, more smaller than uh, real classroom meetings. And let's say if you pass at least 10 these e-course lessons in the Liklos lab, then you can uh, require for the teacher. 
and uh, basically you can make a requirement to me and then I will assign a teacher for you after that. So the next, uh, the next question is how can you get the health certificate easily? So you should contact with your family doctor if you have it. If you don't have a family doctor, please contact with us. Or with us. Basically, we have um, one another branch uh, like medical center, and we can direct you to this medical center, and um, they will help you to get this health certificate. It's only in that case when you don't have a family doctor. So you book time for a visit. Uh, you have to visit this um, medical center, of course. And before that, you should fulfill the health uh, declaration in advance. You can see it in Digilugu EE also. I will leave the links below, so don't worry about that. Of course, if you will not be available to form this uh, health declaration personally, then family doctor or and our medics will help you to form it at the place. But in that case, if you form it in advance, uh, basically this process will pass you more faster in that case. So let's check the link in that case. So now you can see this DigiLogo website here. Um, I choose already, I have chosen the English version of course, and you can log in and then you will see um, something about uh, health uh, declaration uh, examples. And then you can form it and uh, your family doctor will see it automatically in the system. And uh, after you visit him or in the moment you visit him, he will see it and make this health certificate for you faster. And as I already said, you basically uh, form this declaration in advance when it's done, you can visit your doctor and you will get your health certificate faster. And after you get it, uh, please inform the driving school about receiving the health certificate. So it means you can inform me directly on email or WhatsApp, doesn't matter, but it will be perfect if you do that. Then I know that I can make a, a driving card for you. And please remember once again, it's not permitted officially to drive without this health certificate. Uh, you and the teacher can get a big penalty for that if you don't have it. So please um, take it seriously. If your health certificate is done, how many driving lessons you need to pass? You should pass 28 practical lessons to finish the practical course. Plus two lessons, it's additional courses, slippery driving and night driving. Basically the main lessons uh, if you pass the main lessons, it's 26 uh, and plus two after that, it's the driving exam. So two of them is the uh, school driving exam. Of course, if you are not ready for the driving exam and your teacher thinks you are not ready and you personally also understand that, then you can make some additional lessons. So 28 is the mandatory program, but it doesn't mean that 28 will be enough for you or for another student. Sometimes, it, to be honest, it takes more than 28 lessons to finish the school properly and to learn uh, and to study this, uh, all the exam rules and things uh, properly. That's why it takes more time. And it's mandatory to pass this training exam in the end. And um, usually uh, we assign another teacher for that. So you can feel uh, a little bit stressed. It's very helpful because uh, on the real exam you will have the same situation. So it will be another person, totally new for you, maybe this person will be rude as well. You have to consider that. And uh, that's why we practice the same thing here. So you make your main lessons with one teacher and driving exam will be with another teacher. And uh, also it's mandatory to pass the driving exam. So if teacher thinks, another teacher, I mean the second one, uh, thinks that uh, you didn't pass the exam, then you should try it again next time. So it's mandatory to pass this driving school driving exam first. When you pass at least 20 practical lessons and you can register yourself for the sleeping driving course and night driving course. And um, this is the thing I told you in the beginning. You can also find the registration forms on our website if you need it. 
So these courses are also mandatory. So if we combine all the things, uh, theory lessons are mandatory. Uh, driving lessons are mandatory, slippery driving is mandatory, and night driving is mandatory as well. And after that, you have to pass the exams as well. For the first aid course, you can register for uh, even earlier. It means in the beginning of your theory course. First aid, first aid course is also mandatory, so um, you also can register for this course in advance. Why we have this kind of a difference uh, for starting these courses? So first aid course you can start earlier, but other courses you can start later. The point is that slippery driving and night driving courses, they both require some skills and experience on the road. That's why it's better to pass at least some practical lessons before that. Because if you don't have this uh, enough confidence uh, on the roads, it will be really hard for you to pass these courses. You will not get a lot of uh, information and experience from the slippery night driving courses in that case. So believe me, first better to pass uh, some lessons and then you can register for these courses. Usually, of course, our teachers uh, direct you when exactly it's better for you to pass them. So you always can ask them as well. It's uh, better in that case. Also, about the first aid course, I should add that it's not necessary to pass it if you already have this first aid certificate. Maybe you work somewhere um, related with the people, things and jobs, I mean, if, if you have it, it means it's um, most probably your um, boss or the company uh, where you work required some uh, first aid course, courses from you. And sometimes many companies make that and they um, basically plan these courses in the company. If you have this certificate already, it's not necessary to make it again in our school the only requirement that we need that this course should be not less than 16 hours so if it's less than this 16 hours then means uh, this requirement is not fulfilled so you should pass this first aid course again so here you can see the different uh, the option for the driving lesson so it's manual or automatic gearbox Basically, we have both options to study, manual and automatic. You uh, can uh, see uh, this uh, option while you make the registration form. Uh, when you click the button register, you will see also the um, possibility to choose the gearbox type you want to learn. Of course, you can change it during this, uh, your learning. It's not a problem if you decided to start with automatic, but then you realize that it's not for you and you want to try the manual, then you can choose the manual in that case. But you always have to inform me about that or other school workers. So then we can change it in the system as well. Usually we start all the driving lessons here in Mustame as well. It's nearby to our office. I will show you the address as well. So here is the place where we start all the lessons. You can see the starting platform here. So usually first two lessons or three or four lessons, it depends um, what gearbox you learn, it depends um, if you are a beginner, total beginner or not. All the first lessons we start here, the main ones. So we basically observe the basics, how to work with the pedals, how to work with the steering wheel, how to check the mirrors, how to reverse, how to park the car, all the things. And the same, if you already passed this uh, starting platform lessons, we meet here on the parking. We, even now on this picture in Google, you can see a lot of starting cars here actually. So basically we start all the driving lessons here. And this is the office, you can see the building here. And this is the Kadaka Selver. Usually we say that we meet near to the Kadaka Selver. So this Selver is behind and all the cars here. So it's exactly between the Selver and the Nesta gas station. So this is the gas station here. So now we know the place for the practical classes meetings. And also using this possibility, I will show you how to get to the office then. So we basically go forward and you see this 
free floor building. You will see the address here. And this is the door where you can enter our office. You can, you just need to make a phone call, 25 plus bell, and then you can get inside. So very easy to find us here. Some people ask why we start all the lesson, all the lessons here in uh, Mustama. The main reason that uh, we, first of all, we have a studying platform here. It's not a lot of them in the city, actually, to be honest. And um, the second thing that we have to practice mostly the exam rows that road administration requires from you. But road administration, uh, location of this road administration is in Mustama. So obviously, all the main uh, roads are in Mustama for the exam because they start all the exams there at the office. So that's why it's easier uh, for us to start practicing with you all the main things that they require on the exam. So it's roundabouts, one-way roads in Lima and um, highways like Lagri or Kayla directions and all of these things. You can check all these videos actually on our YouTube channel as well. You will see many exam roads there and you will see what exactly they require for the exam. So that's why there is no point to start lessons somewhere else. For example, in Las Amea region or a city center, because then teachers will spend a lot of time to drive with you uh, to your picking up place, for example, somewhere in the city center. And then anyway, you have to go back to the Must to Mustama and start practicing all the exam roads there. So yeah, all the lessons, we start exactly at this point and um, we basically don't offer another options in that case. Also, you have a possibility uh, to drive with the supervisor. It can be your relative or friend who has license at least for five years and no penalties for the current year, for the one last year. So basically, you can use this possibility. I really recommend to use it, actually, because then you can practice more and you will finish the school lessons and the school program faster. And it will be easier for you to pass the main uh, school driving exam as well. You can do it. Uh, you can uh, first of all, you have to make this supervisor permission. So your supervisor has to uh, make it on the website of the road administration office. And I will show you how to, how it works. Basically, I have already logged in. So you just you just use this website. You have to log in first. So you can see my name here. And um, your supervisor have to click this link, becoming a company person for learner driver, here. So learner's personal ID, I just uh, inserted here. My personal ID, uh, then I confirm. It costs uh, 12 euros, as you see, and that's it. So permission is done. And you can drive like forever with this permission. So please remember that your relatives, anyone, friends, doesn't matter. They all can make this uh, supervisor permission and they can be your supervisor. But remember the limits that it has to be at least five, year, uh, five years of experience of your supervisor license. So, uh, and um, the second thing that your supervisor cannot have any penalty for penalties for the last one year at this moment. So, what about the exams? In the end of the theory course and practical course, you should pass an exam for both of them in our school. So, basically, it works like this. You first uh, should pass all these exams in our school, and then you will be allowed to pass uh, these exams um, in the state. So, in the, the official ones, in the road administration. Um, theory you pass first, of course, theory exam. After you pass it in our school, you will be immediately allowed to pass it in the road administration. But I have to make this uh, activation first for you. So basically, I need to send them, uh, I need to send the information to the road administration office that you already passed a TUE, uh, TUE exam in our school and now you are ready to pass it in the road administration. So first, when you uh, fulfilled all the requirements and you pass this uh, TUE exam in our school, then please let me know and um, 
I will basically send the information to the road administration office and you will be allowed to register for the TU exam. Uh, you can register uh, in the same way, like I showed you in the previous slide. So you, you just go to the official road administration website, to the e-service and you will find, uh, if you logged in, you will find uh, this link for the registration. You can always see all the prices on our website. So you will see the link below. And um, as I already mentioned before, please consider that prices can be uh, changed because we always uh, try to make different services and create new services. And uh, it will be working differently all the time. So you will see this link, as I already mentioned that before, you can see this link uh, below this video. In conclusion, to get the graduation certificate in our school and get the license, you need to complete health certificate, TUE course, practical course, night driving course, slippery driving course, first aid course, the main things. And then after that, TUE exam in our school, driving exam in our school. After you completed all these things, you will get the graduation certificate. In that case, we also need to meet with you in the office. To make this final certificate after you pass all these courses and exams and you also didn't miss any payments of course and uh, if we see that everything is correctly with you and we can form the graduation certificate finally and after that you will be allowed for the main theory exam i mean the state theory exam and state driving exam in the road administration office but one thing as i already mentioned before um, Theory exam in the road administration you can pass earlier, uh, earlier in uh, after you pass the theory exam in our school. But of course, if you don't want to pass it so early, you can pass it after you get your graduation certificate. After you get your license, you need to pass the winter driving course within the two years, or we call it final stage driving course. Uh, I already mentioned that in the beginning. Um, the final stage you can see it in the registration so this one you can pass in our school as well after that you will get the license for 10 years so this is the requirement uh, from the government that people who already has the license they uh, they need to pass this final stage course we call it winter driving course as well it's not the same course like the slippery one so this slippery one you should pass uh, before you finish the school but this one, you already have a license. So this is the main difference. And the course, of course, is different in that case. So as we already know, we basically can provide this course in our school as well. And um, um, it's necessary to pass it. Try not to miss it because usually students uh, text me and they request for this, uh, for this course in the last moment when they really need to change the license. You can pass it exactly after you uh, got your license and then you will not forget. So basically you have two years for that. And if the course is passed, uh, the road administration office will exchange your license for, the ten, for 10 years. Because as you remember, when you get your license, first you will get the provisional license. So it will be valid only for the next two years. So it means you're a junior driver. And um, yeah, so that's important. Please consider this thing as well. Thank you for your attention. I hope this video was very informative for you. Please check out the links below this video. I will, uh, all the links that we just observed in this video and uh, on the slides, uh, I will put behind this, below this uh, video. So thank you for your attention and welcome to our school. And we're glad to meet you here. Bye-bye.